staying relevant keeps me awake at night. What do I mean by this? I have been a student of world economies. I have studied rich countries. I have studied poor countries. I have lived in rich nations. I have lived in poor nations. I have also tried to understand the psychology behind weak institutions. Therefore, what I bring to you today is the fruit of my observations. Madame Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. A billion people are stuck living in economies that have been stagnant for 40 years, and hence diverging from the rest of the humankind. The question is, how can we give credible hope to that one billion people? That, to my mind, is the fundamental challenge to development today. What I'm going to offer you is a recipe of two forces that will change the world for good the alliance of compassion and enlightenment self-interest. Compassion because there's 40, there's a billion people stuck in economies. Enlightenment self-interest because in that economic divergence combined with social integration globally, it will build a nightmare to our children. Therefore, we need compassion to get ourselves started, enlightenment self-interest to get ourselves serious. What do I mean by serious? What can we actually do? The last time we got serious was back in the 1940s. The country that got serious was you, America. The region that needed to be developed was Europe. So what did you do, America? You tore up your trade policy. Before the war, before the war, America was highly protectionist. After the war, you opened your market to Europe, you dragged European to your economy, totally reversed the trade policy. What else did you do? You tore up your security policy. Before the war, America was isolated. After the war, you put 40,000, you put 100,000 Euro troops in Europe. Totally reversed your security policy. What else did you do? You tore up your 11, Commandment, national servantism. Before the war, you treated national servantism so, so sacrosanct that you did not want to join the Legion of Nations. After the war, you founded the United Nations, you founded the IMF, you, you encouraged Europe to build European community. All systems for mutual support. That is still the waterfront of effective policies. Trade, security, and government. Of course, the details of the policy today will be different because the challenges are different. It's not about rebuilding Europe. It's about reversing the divergent billion people that are stuck. Is it going to be easier or is it going to be harder? We need to get serious. So why is this important? Every day when you read the paper, there's poverty. Rich nations are trying to help poor nations. But we really don't see the results because there's a billion people stuck. If you think my argument is compelling, and you agree that we need a critical mass of informed citizenry, then you realize, I need you. Please be ambassadors. Thank you.